It's officially been six months since I picked up the Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses. And honestly, I didn't expect that I'd still be using them this much. When I bought them, I had the same questions most people do. Are these actually useful if you re? Not a vlogger? Not a content creator? And not planning to record every moment of your day? And more importantly, are they even worth the price tag for a regular person? Now that I've lived with them, taken them on trips, worn them during everyday routines, and tested almost every feature they offer, I finally have a clear answer to both questions. And it is definitely not what I expected. Let's start with the design because Meta and Ray-Ban honestly nailed it here. These glasses don't look like tech. They don't look bulky, futuristic, or weird. They just look like normal Ray-Bans, which is exactly what makes them so good. In six months, I've walked past thousands of people and barely anyone noticed the tiny camera on the frame. The only giveaways are the slightly thicker arms, but even that blends in easily. They come in multiple styles, including the classic Wayfarer, which I chose. Plus, you can get prescription lenses, transitions, and various colors if you want something more custom. And yes, those transitions do cost extra, but for what they offer, it makes sense. So what actually makes these smart glasses? Well, inside these innocent-looking frames is a whole system, a 12-megapixel camera, a set of open-ear speakers, a 5-microphone array, touch controls on the side, and Meta's AI assistant built in. You can tap the frame to control music, adjust volume, skip songs, or summon the assistant. And there's a capture button on top for photos and videos. You can even trigger Spotify, Apple Music, or Amazon Music with a single tap, though Apple Music support is only available if you're reusing an iPhone. And because they're IPX for water resistant, you can wear them in light rain or on a kayaking trip without worrying, which I did, and they handled it surprisingly well. Now let's talk about something that genuinely surprised me, the speakers. The open-ear audio setup sounds way better than you'd expect from something that ISNT shoved into your ears. Over the past six months, I found myself reaching for my earbuds far less. If I just want background music, a podcast, or navigation directions, these glasses do the job perfectly. And the best part is when I get out of my car, my audio transfers from my car speakers right into my glasses with a single tap. It feels seamless and futuristic in a way I didn't expect from sunglasses. The microphone quality is also impressive. With five mics, calls sound clear, and the noise cancellation is better than I anticipated. People on the other end often don't even realize I'm talking through smart glasses. For something this small, that's pretty wild. Then there's Meta AI, and this is where things get interesting. The assistant basically works in two modes. The first mode is all the practical stuff. Hands-free calls, sending messages, taking photos, recording videos, and controlling your music. Hey, this is the part of the AI I actually use the most. You can send messages through WhatsApp or Messenger or even post videos straight to Instagram stories without touching your phone. The second mode is more conversational. You can ask it questions, look up general info, or ask about things around you. Sometimes it gives great answers. And sometimes it just confidently makes things up. It'll tell you what zone a plant grows in, and then turn around and completely misidentify a tree you're looking at. So the accuracy is hit or miss, and because of that, I don't fully depend on it for information. Now let's get to the camera, because this is really where these glasses come to life. On paper, a 12 megapixel sensor doesn't sound like much, especially when smartphones have 50 megapixel cameras now. But the real strength here isn't megapixels, it's perspective, because the camera lives on your face. Everything you capture looks natural, immersive, and completely hands-free. I've captured kayaking adventures, random moments with family, funny things my pets did, and even little surprises like my brother finding a tiny shrimp in his kayak. If I had pulled out my phone, I would have missed that moment. The glasses made it effortless, but of course it's not perfect. Videos max out at three minutes. The default vertical orientation can be limiting. And there's a 1 2 2 second delay between pressing the button and the camera actually taking the shot. That delay has made people move too early more times than I can count. Also, using the camera drains battery faster, which brings me to the next point. Battery life on these glasses is good, but not amazing. You get around 4 hours on a single charge, which is accurate to Meta's claim, and the charging case gives you around 36 hours total. I took these two Cape Lookout for a day trip 
and they lasted about four and a half hours with frequent photo and video use. A quick 15-minute charge in the case gives you a solid boost. Which is convenient, but honestly, I wish the glasses themselves lasted closer to eight hours. For long days outdoors, for hours goes by fast. There are also features I barely use, like the identify this object feature or deeper AI conversations. It's fun to try once, but I personally didn't find it useful in day-to-day -day life. Same thing with direct social sharing. It's cool if you're active on Instagram, but since I don't post much, I didn't rely on it. Now let's talk downsides, because yes, there are a few. The AI assistant can be inconsistent and sometimes just flat out wrong. You also can't reply directly to a text message it reads out loud, can't identify songs playing from your phone. And while Meta is clearly doing their best, it's the integration with phone operating systems is far from perfect, and sometimes it reminds you how locked down iOS and Android still are. Then there's the lack of a Find My feature. If you lose these glasses, they're gone. No tracking, no pinging, no recovery. And because there's no fingerprint or face unlock, someone else could just use your glasses if they find them. That's definitely something Meta needs to fix.